stay up there, jeez. This will be day one of my journey southwest, further west, somewhere else other than here. Good morning everyone, I'm Tito, welcome to my amazing odyssey. We're really about to get into some odyssey type of stuff on this journey. I am now leaving Colorado today, well actually I'll be spending the night in Colorado tonight in a different place, but by tomorrow I'll be in New Mexico. Actually maybe not, because I'm taking a different route. So the first route I was taking until yesterday when I switched it all up, I'm no longer doing because I was told about this one website called flatroute.com, I think it is, or flattishroute.com. And so I was looking at that yesterday, and there's this one spot when you cross through Colorado and New Mexico that you hit like a 7,000 and something ele foot elevation, and it's like a 4% slope or something like that. And I'd rather not hit any of those steep slopes up or down. I would want to do as little stress on the van as I can. So being that I have nowhere to be right now, I'm waiting on some calls back from other jobs, but uh, those don't really start till October and it is September, Monday, September 19th. So I have time to get there. So I'm just gonna be taking my time. I wanna boondock the whole way through hopefully and do just free camping the whole way. And I also want to slow down. Normally when I drive and I travel, I, I want to get to the place I'm getting to. But I'm trying to practice slowing down. And this will help me because I don't have to be anywhere yet. So, like, I can take my time and I can stay in a spot for a few days. So this will definitely be interesting. I've stocked up on my water. Um, charge up everything. I have, like, little battery packs and stuff. I even have this one that has, like, solar on it, too, for emergencies. But it's... Like the battery pack you plug your phone into i'll plug my phone into here i'll plug my lights because i have like these usb lights so they don't take a lot of power they last for a few hours and you charge it through usb which doesn't take a whole lot of power so i have those everything's charged up ready to go uh the only thing is on my way i need to either find a new inverter or find the fuses for that one so i can solder them on after that i'll feel more comfortable as far as my power situation and everything else i'll get food on the way through so yeah that's what's going on you're gonna see this along with me because I have no idea what's going to happen along this journey, where I'm going to end up, what job I'm going to have, any of that. I'm just going at this point. So this is a uh, new territory for me, going by myself into random places and camping for a few days and uh, just being self-sufficient out there, which is, it's going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy it. I already know it. So I got my laundry and everything done. Everything's packed up, ready to go. I did all that yesterday. I was up until like 2.30 in the morning getting music and stuff together too. I got to burn me a CD and I've already put it on my phones. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a hot time during the day. Most of these days and at night it gets cold, but my sleeping bag is enough for me. And I have my uh, Mr. Heater under there. So that's ready to go, but I haven't pulled it out yet. But the sleeping bag is one of those like below zero degree sleeping bags um i printed off my directions which like i said they changed yesterday so um i've had to adjust a few things on here but this website and i'll make a video on this uh, along the way but fur cot i guess that's how it said i don't know but go to that website that's how i do my trip planning so i can do it offline too so i can pull it up on my phone offline and see my route and i already put in the sites the free camp sites that i know of but along the way, if I find something else, then obviously, you know, I may take that up. Or if it's not even open anymore or something like that, then I'll have to figure that out. But that's a part of the journey. So yeah, let's do this. Here we go.
I just pulled over. I'm like in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in Colorado, outside of La Junta. And I'm about to enter the National Grassland. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, we're making it. We got probably about like 40 more miles to go. So I stopped for the day and check out my first spot, if it's available. <laughs> All right, I just pulled off that road and I am about to head this way <laughs> into the unknown. No, you can't see it too good because of the sun, but yeah, this is where I'm going. I'm out here. All right, let's do this. Found a little spot. <laughs> Told you I'm trying to be more patient and take my time, so I'm trying to stop more too. Uh, I found this. You gotta walk on the stairs to get over the barbed wire fence, but uh, <laughs> it's the prairie trail. Imagine standing here in the 1870s, hearing the thunder of approaching hooves, seeing a faint dust trail in the horizon as a fast moving stage co coach approaches. The coach was traveling in the Barlow and Sanderson stage route, providing mail and passenger services along the Santa Fe Trail. Oh, I thought this was going somewhere crazy. <laughs> uh, but apparently this was the route. Here I am, right there. And I'm going to the Canyon Station. I don't know how you say that. Vogel, I don't know. But uh, there's a trail, I don't know if you can really see, because like I said, the sun, I'm obviously pointing in the direction, so. Looks kind of cool, but I don't want to go that way. <laughs> Ooh, but I do see water, though. Maybe I can find water later. All right. Getting dirty back there, because of all that dust and dirt. So I'm ready to stop driving and see what's up. My back is sweaty. Okay, so my hair is really doing something. I'm just like throw some water on my head, cool me off anyway. But uh, it was actually only like 600 feet away from where I stopped at. There is some toilets over there. And they have all these different shaded picnic areas around. And then there's also a trail that way. I need to go read these signs. I can't remember if this was a spot that has like dinosaur trails the heck that's something you don't really think too much about is when you go to a new area the different animals and insects that have changed or gotten bigger than what you're used to yeah something to think about so there's trails overlook trail is only a mile canyon trail there's rock art i do want to see that so i might do that one ruins and rock art but i'll probably wait till tomorrow like in the morning when it's cool it's spring but they say don't drink the spring water I do have like different types of water filters and things, but I have my own water, so there's no need for me to do that. I'm guessing that might be a trail down there. Let me go check it out. Let me throw this away first. Gotta have my Arizona on the road. This grass is a little too high for me. You don't know what's in it. I keep hearing things jumping. Oh! Hey, I get to sign this. Or wait. Well, I want to sound the one that I'm going to do. It's kind of like, uh, what's that movie that just came out with Reese Witherspoon? And she hiked up Pacific Coast Trail or whatever. Cool, maybe your name is in here, I don't know. I guess they're like grasshoppers I'm hearing. There must be some big ones, but look over there. Seeing some cool little plants, but what is that? Is it like a pepper or... In the squash family or something. Okay, so it's pretty clean in here. 
Smells fresh and clean. It smells like like a lake or something. <laughs> like that's how clean it smells. Well, they keep following me. Every time I go out there, they stop. Mm -hmm.